Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a four-card spread. This is for the zodiac sign of Virgo for March 2020. This is your monthly for March 2020. I have pre-shuffled the cards, and we have four cards here with for you. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and then we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and then we have the Three of Cups in the upright, and then we have the... Four of Cups in the Upright. My goodness, all these cups. What's going on, Virgo? Okay, so first of all, let's start with the first one. Let's place it here. This is the card of sneakiness when it's in the upright position. You see how the man is sneaking away. He's stealing. Okay, and then he's looking over his shoulder to see if anybody saw him. And he's just slinking, slithering away. Okay, and he stole all these swords, but he left two behind. Okay, so I'm seeing that you probably involved with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, because there's a lot of cups over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so somebody that you're involved with or know was stealing either your energy or lying to you about something. They were telling you they were going someplace when they were really someplace else. I'm seeing that they were doing a lot of internet porn, um, talking to women on those 1-800 numbers. I'm seeing, because you see these little huts back here? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that's like, this reminds me of the old times when the prostitutes used to go into these huts and that's where they would have their men. Because this is an old-timey picture. Okay, so... Um, I'm seeing it nowadays, you know, they do internet porn, they talk to the women. So this person was cheating. They were lying to you. They weren't telling you the truth about who they were. And they're unreliable. I'm seeing they're very unreliable. Someone was not telling you the truth about everything, about who they were, how they felt about you. Or if this was a job situation, the same thing goes there. I'm seeing that someone stole something. Maybe some of you, someone stole something off your desk at work. Um, and something like that. So, but it's in the reverse. Okay. So now when it's in the reverse, that means that you're going to find out what happened. You're going to find out what the deception was. You're going to find out who's been keeping a secret because see, this person left evidence behind. He left these, these he or she left these two wands behind. So that means that evidence got left behind. So you're going to find it. You're going to find it either in a text message, an email, a phone call, or someone is just going to plain tell you, or you're going to see it, someone else is going to see it and tell you, but you're going to find out the truth. You're going to find out what secrets have been kept from you and where the deception has come from, okay? I see an apology coming in, so, and I don't feel like this is a good apology because this person is not going to change. They're still going to be the same, but I do see an apology coming in, and I kind of see you accepting it. You know, I don't know if that's a good idea for you to accept an apology from some, someone that's been cheating with prostitutes or, you know, somebody on the Internet. But this person is going to come in and they're going to be like, sorry, I caused so much trouble. It was an innocent mistake. I'm honest. Please believe me. Um, and I kind of feel like you're going to accept that. And I just don't feel like that's a good thing to do. <sighs> Excuse me. I am saying if you're involved in a lawsuit or in need of legal counsel, um, you're going to... You're going to find that as well. Um, like I said, when, if someone stole something off your desk, this person is going to return it, but they're going to wait till you're not there, and they're going to place that on your desk. And then when you come back to your desk, you're going to be like, where did that come from? That's been missing for a long time. Well, it's because the thief returned it. They're going to have a sudden change of heart, and they're going to return the item that was stolen. Maybe someone, a relative stole something from your house. Someone stole something from your desk or something like that. I see them returning it. Because whatever was lost is going to be found. Okay, and whatever truth needs to be told, the truth is going to come out with this card. All right. And you've probably already done this because I see it's in the past position. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Because here we have the genie in the reverse. This is the card of good luck. And it's a, I call it the yes card because the genie is here to answer whatever question you ask. And, and it comes in the upright, it means yes, that it's going to come true, your wishes are coming true, but it's in the reverse. So why is that in the reverse? Goodness. So this is the energy you're feeling. So um, it meant that after you found out the truth about stuff, you, you kind of paused everything. You paused the relationship. I'm seeing a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, maybe you were involved with that, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
And you're going to want to pause. You're going to take a pause. I'm hearing a pause. Whatever you wish for isn't going to happen today, okay, because of the lies and deception. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of lying and cheating. So whatever you wish for isn't going to be fulfilled at the moment because of this deception. I keep hearing that over and over. The wishes won't be fulfilled. Okay, so it's time to um, regroup. It's time to regroup and think about what you want to do. I'm seeing an overindulgence, and maybe you might be involved with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's overindulging in uh, maybe it could be liquor, alcohol, or women. Because I'm telling you, I saw the the right next to it is this card that fell right next to it and this is again i told you this is the card of cheating okay so and then in the background you have those little huts so i feel like this person was into porn women or internet or something like that and then this is the overindulgence card so this person was overindulging so they were overindulging in, in someone else other than you okay so and you caught them you either found out or going to find out or a truth is coming out uh yeah. So, and you you kept you kept pushing for this relationship to come out better, but it didn't because of this person is not a good person. They're lying. Okay. So, whatever you wish for isn't going, isn't happening at the at this time the way you wanted it to happen. Okay. So, yeah. So, but I do see an apology coming with this. And then there, next to it was the Three of Cups. Um, this is a celebration. So you're either going to accept it, or and if you don't, then this person is going to move on and celebrate with somebody else is what I'm seeing. But this is the cup, the card, the card of celebrations. There's three people here celebrating. Okay. I'm also seeing, because there's other scenarios here for other people, because this is a general reading, so it's meant for everybody. I'm seeing someone celebrate something. It could be a marriage. This person might come back in and propose to you. If you're not married, this person might come back in and propose to you and ask you to marry them. But it doesn't mean that it's going to work out great. You know, if he's cheating, it doesn't mean it's going to work out great. Or he might already be married to someone else, and that's the deception you found out. Okay. But I do see a celebration here. I see, but I also see a three. So this card has several meanings to it. I see cheating, lying. You know, um, you you found out that he was cheating and lying. He came in and apologized, he or she. And then, um, you know, because you know he was celebrating with somebody else doing stuff. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this reading is so mixed up because there's two scenarios here. You're either going to accept it and you're going to be celebrating or you're not going to accept it. Okay, so with the last one, here's the Four of Cups. Now, in the upright position, you're refusing everything. Here's all the cups lined up. The hand of the universe is offering you a cup, but you're refusing, you know, whatever this love offer is. But now it's in the reverse, so I see you accepting that. Okay, why would you accept an apology from someone that's cheating with someone else and you caught them? Okay, this is the part I don't understand. You caught them here. You found the evidence and you caught them here, but you're still accepting the apology? Okay, come on, guys. That's not a good apology to accept. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. I just, no. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to turn to action. I'm seeing that you need to recreate your goals and your dreams. If you're going to make this work with this person, then you you got to sit down and talk to them. Okay, but if not then you're going to move in a different direction. I see you. I see movement with this card in the right direction. I see renewed activity. So that could be a renewed activity with the person you accepted the apology from or you're moving on by yourself. Okay. But I do see a good cycle coming. It just depends on which road you choose. Which road are you going to choose? Are you going to go back to this person that did all this stuff or are you going to move forward with someone else? Okay. Because there's always someone else coming. The universe always brings you someone else. When one door closes, the other one opens. Remember that. So, and I do see a good cycle coming if you move forward by yourself without this cheating lion snake, okay? Because this cup brings in movement in the right direction is what I keep hearing. And renewed activity with hope or love, you know. But, um, yeah, it appears that, the, oh, goodness. Okay, so 
with this other card here, the one where they're celebrating three, I don't, I don't feel like that's you. I feel like that's this, the cheater and the other people, the other person is, was celebrating with many, many women. Okay. And then they still want to come back and celebrate with you. So they're doing everyone plus you. Okay. So be careful what you choose, Virgo. Just be careful what you choose because this doesn't look good, but it only looks good if you close the door on that person. If you close the door on that person, then you're going to be okay. I will not accept the lion cheating scum back. Okay, whether it be man or woman, and if it's a job, if it's a now for you people that are attached, married, or whatever, same thing goes for you. If you find out your partner's cheating, I most likely will not accept them back. Um, yeah, and and if this is a work situation and someone's uh, causing a lot of problems and they come back and say, oops, you know, I didn't mean to cause all these problems and all that. You need to nip that in the bud, okay? Either talk to them, talk to your boss or whatever, but nip it in the bud now because I see a cycle continuing and continuing if you don't do nothing about it. All right, Virgo? This is your month monthly uh, reading for March, Virgos, March 2020. Now, don't forget, it's a general reading. It doesn't resonate with everybody, but if it does, good for you. If you want a personal reading that will resonate with you, contact me with the information down below and I will get back at you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing so far. I really appreciate you. Please leave your comments and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.